He came to deliver us. Father, we thank you. Father, we worship you. Name we pray. Let's just commit to the hands of the Lord, the revival service of tonight, asking the Lord that his presence will come even into our midst and we'll feel his glory and we'll feel his might even in our, in our midst this hour in the name of Jesus. Let's, let's pray. Let's invite him to our midst at this hour. Let's ask the Lord that his presence will come down. His glory will come down, even as we worship him tonight. Brothers, let's pray together. Praise the Lord. Let's pray together, committing the Lord, in committing the meeting tonight into the hands of the Lord, asking for his presence, asking him for his glory, asking him that his might will come down even in our midst. That all that we'll be doing tonight will be to the glory of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's now commit into the hands of the Lord everyone that will be doing one thing or the other, the cross leaders. Let's appreciate the Lord and asking the Lord that he will anoint everyone. All that will be giving us exhortation, all that will be giving us announcement in everyone that that the Lord will be using tonight. Let's just commit them to the hands of the Lord, that they will be inspired of the Lord by himself, and they'll be anointed of the Lord by himself, and the name of the Lord will be glorified, even tonight in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. And so, our loving God, we thank you very much, for Lord, for this moment. We thank you for the opportunity that you will have, Lord, that to come together and to worship you. Holy God, we ask that you accept our praise, O Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. And at this hour, Lord, we want to commit this meeting, O God, into your hands. Lord, as we gather, we're asking that your spirit will gather with us. Mm -hmm. Your presence, O Lord God, will be felt in our midst. Every one of us will have your touch, O God, tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, everyone you'll be using to do one thing or the other, right now we pray that the power of the Holy Spirit will come forth and fill them up, that they will minister under the inspiration of the Lord. Thank you, Father, because we know you've answered also, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Hallelujah. Chorus leaders can please uh, take over from here. The praise and worship team. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Yeah. 
race non beside Neither is a rainy road, a god there is
Kelly. Shall it well be well with us in Jesus' name? Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for tonight. We thank you for this brief session we're going to have together, preparing us for the great outpouring as we're going to have next weekend. Father, we pray that even as we gather together, speak to every heart and prepare us to wake us up to stay us up, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, yes, Lord, we believe because with God all things are possible. Yes. We are serving the living God, the way maker, where there seems to be no way our Lord says to make a way. Rivers in the desert. You know, there's the God of impossibilities making possible. That is what he has always been doing. So tonight we are going to look at a very simple uh, message, very short, because it's not a time for message, a time for prayer. That's something maybe to stir us up, to wake us up, uh, to pray. You know, prophets in the Old Testament, some of them were giving, were having very tough ministries, very, very tough ministry. Look at the prophet Jeremiah, very difficult ministry. But of course, God was with him. That is the most important thing. You know, now this reminds me of a prayer we are told that um, the believing saying we are told that. He prayed a prayer, and the prayer was that, Lord, take me anywhere, send me anywhere, but go with me. And I think that is a very powerful prayer. Lord, no problem, anywhere, but go with me. And we all know, if you have read about him, you know that the Lord was really, really with him. Very tough, tough situations. So tonight, we're going to examine a very short word of it. So he said, a prophet in the junk yard. A prophet in the junk yard. What is a junk yard? You know, we all know, especially if you are driving an old vehicle. You know, if you are driving a 2024 uh, Mercedes, I'm not sure you're very familiar with a junk yard. But if you are driving maybe a 2002 Toyota, you know, where from time to time you need something. You even go to the dealership, they don't have it. And they will ask you, go to junkyard. When you go to a junkyard, it's a dead place where there is no life there. Vehicles are parked there, but there is no life in them. So whatever you want, they can go and get it for you. Just go and replace an old path somewhere. So if you are called as a prophet to the junkyard, that is a tough ministry, going to wake up dead vehicles. And this is the kind of ministry that was given to the prophet Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 37. And we are very familiar with this uh, story or this account. The hand of the Lord was upon me, Ezekiel 37. I'm reading from verse number one. And carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones. That is exactly what I'm talking about here. If you go to a junkyard, yes, it's full of something, but what kind of thing? Junk vehicles. Yes, there are some things there that could be useful, but there is no life there. No vehicle moves there. That is exactly what kind of situation we have here. And caused me to pass by them, oh yes, run about, and behold, there were very many in the open valley and <clears throat> and lo 
they were very dry. Exactly, that is what we are saying here, dry bones. And tonight, our leaders led that to sing. Yes, we believe, Lord, we believe, dry bones shall rise again. Dry, dead churches will rise again. Because that is what the Lord is going to do next weekend as we come together. And he said unto me, son of man, can this bones live? And I answered, O Lord God, thou knowest. O Lord God, thou knowest. You know, there are times God asks the questions. And of course, he knows the answer, but why is he asking the question? He knows what he will do, but he's asking the question. In the same way, if you go to John chapter 6, John chapter 6, there were multitudes coming, following Jesus. And then it was necessary that they have received so much spiritual nourishment, spiritual food. But that is not enough. They also need physical food if they are going to maintain the spiritual fire in them. Therefore, the Lord Jesus asked a question in John chapter 6, verse 5. When Jesus then lifted up his eyes and saw a great company come unto him, he said unto Philip, Whence? Where? Where? Where are we going to find food for these many people? Million, me, I mean, multitudes of people, they have come. They have been with us here. Like our, what happens in our retreat and all that. And this he said to prove him, for he himself knew what exactly he will do the way maker he knows the way we sing the song my lord knows the way through the wilderness just follow that is all you need no question just follow philip answered him 200 penny worth of bread is not even sufficient in any case we don't even have 200 pence so what do we do then one of them andrew you know said simon peter's brother said unto him there is a lad here which have five belly loaves and two small fishes. I wish he could have ended there. You know, there are times too much talking can lead that into unnecessary problems. If this, you know, gentleman had ended this statement here, I think it would have been a brilliant statement. There is a young man here. He has five loaves, two fishes. Period. You know, if he ended there, that could have, you know, created the impression that, oh, this man has faith because everybody knows that this is not enough. But then, saying that, unfortunately, he brought in some qualifier which destroyed his point. He said, but, but, what is this to many people? You see, so this cancelled his point. Yeah, there's a boy, young man here, five loaves, two fishes. If he had ended there, it could have been a great idea. But unfortunately, continuing to talk, he just watered down everything. But what is this? Nothing. This is nothing that can do the work. But Jesus himself knew what he would do. Eventually, Jesus did what he did. And the multitudes ate and ate and ate. And there was so much um, left. God in heaven knows what he would do. So when he said in Ezekiel, can these bones live? You know, as a preacher, if you are sent to the cemetery, if you are sent to a valley of dry bones to go and preach, that is a, a kind of hopeless kind of ministry. Seriously speaking, you know, that is the most bizarre kind of ministry, ministering to dead bones. Well, God is the one sending you and uh, if he's the one sending you, then of course he knows what he will do. Just obey, just obey. When his message comes to you, there is but one thing to do, just obey. So, this is a hopeless and a helpless situation. Go out. Shall these bones live? And he went around them and he saw that not only dry, they were very dry. That is, not, not that they died maybe just a few months ago very very dry so looking at our generation brothers and sisters pastors leaders i think we can liken this to our current situation that there's men walking 
But as you know, that blind man said, I see dead men as streets walking. Seriously, that is what is going on now. Yes, people are not dead, mean you know, alive but alive but dead. So written it will be all over the place, impossibility in capital letter. But what will I do? Dead, dry bones, nothing could be done. But God knew exactly what he was, and he knew he was going to pass a message for us in the future that we can look at it. So he said, never mind, you do as I have said. Verse number five. Thus said the Lord God unto these bones, behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. Praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. Again, oh, yeah. verse 4, again, I'm going back to verse 4, that said unto me, prophesy upon these bones. You see, so initial reaction is like, Lord, what, what are you getting me into? What kind of ministry? What kind of uh, uh, congregation is this? You are sending me to. But then, God in heaven knew exactly what he's doing. And that's exactly what we are asked to do. Yes, the people are so hardened, their hearts are hardened, all kind of things are happening in this our generation, but the God in heaven knew what he would do. Prophesy, go. As tomorrow we may have to go out there inviting them. Yes, we know their hearts are hardened, we know some of them are not ready, but who knows how many the Lord has prepared. Let's go in faith, trust in the Lord. And that said the Lord unto these bones, behold, I, the living God, the God of creation. You know, if you go back to look at creation, in the beginning, God, that is it. For many billions of years, God. But now, a day of creation comes, God decided to create out of nothing. He created life. And from that day, there have been life. So when God said he's going to create new life in bones, of course, that is much easier than bringing life out of nothing. That is the goal we are talking about. Verse number six. And I will lay sinews upon you and bring a flesh upon you and cover exactly that. You know, he has done it before. He made Adam, yes, from, you know, from the dust, which had no life. And that is exactly, so this is what God was just doing what he had done before. Bring the sinews, bring that, bring that. So I, of course, now the man has so much confidence, you know, God has spoken, what's the problem? Yeah, why can't you prophesy? Anybody can prophesy when God has given that kind of backup. So the man said, so with this kind of information, with this kind of assurance, so I prophesied. Yes. There was noise, oh yes, shaking, yes, and the bones came together, bone to his bone. Praise the Lord. And that is what is going to happen in this weekend. Please, if you are muted, at times, if you, if you know there's no noise there, you can mute yourself so you can respond and, you know, make it kind of lively for all of us. But if you know that children making noise, that's fine. So I prophesied. So I prophesied. That is exactly what we are going to do next weekend. God bringing us together. The man of God will stand there. Everything we do, right from the praise and worship, God is going to speak to us in every area. That is why we all need to prepare our hearts, no matter what you are doing, no matter what is going to take you away from this meeting next weekend. Please put yourself together. If you have to take permission, whatever, let's do it. Because, you know, for a long time, there has been too much quietness, deadness, and lukewarmness, and God has decided in his own wisdom and his mercy to bring us together. Why don't you take up advantage of this situation? So that when God speaks to us, there can be new life in us. The seniors will come and breathe upon us. And then verse number 10. Verse number 10. I'm sorry. Verse number 10. So I have prophesied as he commanded. And the breath came into them. Breath came into them. When God speaks, that is it. God has spoken. 
let the church say amen. That is it. When God has spoken, that is final. And so amen. therefore, just everything God has said began to manifest. This weekend, next for I mean next weekend, as we come together, God is going to move in a very special way, in a very spectacular way. And once the yeah. God decrees, it shall be established. Because when God speaks, nothing can resist the power of God. Next weekend, let's come preparing. Come preparing, come ready to receive. Because he has prepared something for us. And nobody will be out of it. Nobody should stay out of it. Because the blessing the Lord has prepared for us don't take yourself away. You are the only one who can deny yourself of this great thing the Lord is going to do for us. So, as we come together, God is going to give the prophecy, prophesy to the man of God, and the man of God will open his mouth, and then he will prophesy. God will be there. Next weekend, God will be there waiting for you, waiting for me, waiting that we will come. Come with our burdens. Let's roll our burdens. Take it to the Lord and leave it there. If the word from you, we told of silver and his gold, and you have to get along with Megafe. Just remember in his word how he filled the little bed. Take your burden to the Lord. Roll it down and leave it there. Leave it there. Leave it there. Leave it there. Yes, that is the promise of God. That is God, what God has told, told us to do. Brothers and sisters, you have been laboring in this area here, trying here. It's not working out. Um, the Lord has promised that you're going to meet his people in a very special way. And as you come, come but believing, it's come it's believing. It's come it's believing. It's Just come believing. That is all you need to do. Come it's believing. Tell you, God is going to meet us. Come, come believing, come believing. Turn to can. Jesus, look and live. That is it. And as you come, oh, yeah. I promise you, as you come, the Lord will be there. I promise the Lord will be there. What about the generation, the family, the children, or maybe are going oh. with God, you are worried. What can we do? Oh. Trust, oh. Trust, oh. trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. Thank you, your trials. We have come in the Lord and take forever is lacking. So now. I want to give out this assurance that no so matter what good. is happening, God so is on the throne. We are lacking. He will so, remember his own as he was able to bring yeah. life back to their dry bones the children who are going wayward yes the lucky lord now. will bring them back whatever yeah. is there in our life wherever there's no yeah. life the but god we, of life who spoke yeah. life he said let there be and there was you know the bible tells us yeah. from genesis the bible says in we the beginning god from, then they we, were they too there was no light, everything was dead, let it be light, and there was light. God oh, that manufactured. You see, there's that a difference between manufacturing that, that is dead with it. God just take the things that are there and then you put them together. We have uh, everything, we have things, that is manufacturing. You know, but creation is out of nothing. Yes. Let there we, be and there was. Think about so, it. That is what we said. Oh, we but pray. Don't stay away this the coming the weekend. Bible Whatever Lord. you have to do, if you, you know that you're going so to receive something uh, more valuable. Okay. Lady, okay. I want to encourage you. Can't okay. believe in, can't believe in. Come to Jesus, don't believe. And I promise you, God, if you meet up, up, I promise he I will not leave us alone. Oh. You will be blessed, I'll be blessed. That, but that, you have to be yourself available. Can't Bond. believe in, can't believe in. Look and to Jesus. Bone will come back. Dry bones shall rise that? again. Dry bones shall rise again. The Lord Jehovah is able oh. to support him, and oh. dry bones shall rise again. The junkyard where there's no life, there will be life again in Jesus' name. So, time, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Please open your mouth. Do you need to prayer? Not a church service. It's a prayer time. Open your mouth. Dry bones shall rise again. Be revived. Let's like join to sing together. Want to go? Ah. Dry bones shall rise again. Everything about us. Dry bones shall rise again. 
Again. Oh Lord, we pray yes. that our lives, oh God, will become full of fire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for the answer. We will pray and honor. I will pray and pray to Thank you, Father. Oh God, may the mighty revival that will strip away every dead thing from our lives in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Many are dry in your heart and thinking, and your glory will come in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 I'll believe, Amen. yes, Lord, I'll believe, yes, Lord, I'll believe, it, it is, is well with me, it is well, it is well with me, me. I, I believe. believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. It is well with me. It is well with me. I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. It is well with me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In the next 30 minutes, we are going to pray. And uh, looking at the thing, we are up to 80 something people to pray. I want you to unmute your phone so that we can pray together. If two people could pray and things happen, there are more than two people to pray tonight so that in the next coming few days, things will happen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I want to hear when I say praise the Lord. I want to hear us respond. As we come to this section of the agenda of prayer, I want to have us launch out into the deep of prayer with passion. I want to repeat that. <laughs> launch out into the deep of prayer with passion. In the Gospel of Luke chapter 24, verse 4, 49, Jesus told the disciples, Go and wait in Jerusalem until you catch the fire, until you catch the flame, until you catch the initiation, which is the title for this revival. From the Holy Spirit, then when you catch the initiation, the fire, the flame, you will receive the power. And I thank God for the, the section of the preaching, the exhortation the pastor gave. The bones. A prayer life prompts him, powerless. No signs and wonders in our generation. Great as Dead are not rest. No. The sick are around us. In a house, even the preacher himself, the brother, the sister, the wife, 
a lot of things are not functioning. Prayer life, we talk for prayers. People can pray as we are mourning anybody. No fire. The man of God said, there must be fire. We have to gather together to pray. And so as the people, Jesus saw the disciples before he left. Mm. Every one of them ran to their house. Some people went fishing. He said, there's no problem. Go down to Jerusalem. Wait there a couple of days until you cast the fire. You are ignited. And that's what's going to happen in, in the next few days as we come down to D.C. Now, now, now. Amen. Now. Amen. now. Praise Amen. the Lord. Oh, they're they're doing. Doing. Now. And when they caught the fire, oh, God. brother, that is with signs and wonders. Oh Lord, we thank you. Yes, look the, Lord. They asked of Apostle oh, chapter God. 2. It's not a prayer. God was the Lord of the Bible. Now they were united. The Lord now. And look through the rest of the scripture. There was a time. Many things happened. And so far as God is as we come tonight. In the name will of never go back the same. Ignited yes, in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We got up to about 80 something people on the line. Unmute your phone so that you can respond back to me. It's a time for prayer. And I know that you love praying. I do too. But let me just read this before we take the prayer point. If you go to Isaiah chapter, Isaiah chapter 48, if you wouldn't mind, in the book of Isaiah chapter 48, 48 from verse 1 to 4. What I want to read here is what it takes to get the fire to work for God. What it takes. In those days was Hezekiah sick unto death. And Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos, came unto him and said unto him, Thus said the Lord, set thy house in all, for thou shalt die and not live. <coughs> That was the problem he had. And we have problem in our days. That's why the pastor came up with the word ignite. Mm -hmm. And what I want to take out from this verse is that the man, Hezekiah, had to listen to have the passion to pray. Many people don't pray because they don't have the reason. They don't have the reason that generate the passion to pray. He said, man, you are going to die. What did he do? In verse 2, and Hezekiah turned his face toward the world and prayed unto the Lord and said, Remember now, O Lord. Three things he said. Beseech thee, how I walk before thee in truth. He said, God, you know, you said I'm going to die. God will say, No, you don't have fire. But when we in today, as we meet, turn to God and say, yeah, we don't have fire, but remember how we walk before you in truth. Number one. Number two, we walk before you with a perfect heart. And we walk before you in your sight, doing good in your sight. Three things in truth with a perfect heart and with doing what's right. And the man went. And he read verse four, before you know it, told Isaiah, go back to him. Do you have a cause to pray today? That's where we want to start praying. God, I walk before you in truth with a pure heart. 
I'm doing what is right in your face. Why am I dry? What I'm not, you know, I, I get furious in my spirit. The gifts of God about nine or more than that. Let's talk about the one in I, in the first Corinthians chapter 12. The gift of the word of wisdom, word of knowledge, faith, the gift of healing and miracle, the gift of prophecy, the gift of speaking and, 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 and interpretation of tongues, gift of discernment of spirit. How many of us will say we have those gifts and our church is dry? I don't cry. And beside that, when we perform miracle on the day of Pentecost, the power came. And that power gave them boldness. It gave them the courage. It gave them the confidence. It gave them the power to speak and brought back that. Jesus said to them, you raise the dead. You raise the dead. You heal the sick. You cast out the devil. I don't see not in our midst today. So what's the problem? I want us to take ourselves to God and say, God, search me, O oh Lord. I know how to talk to you. Let's pray. Let's start from ourselves. Search me, O oh Lord. I know my heart today. Try me, O oh Lord. Mm -hmm. I know my thoughts, my friends. Mm -hmm. See if they can mm -hmm. Why are things not going? Mm -hmm. Is God saying to us that we say, God, we walk before mm -hmm. you in Jesus? Oh, Lord. With a pure heart. I know my heart. Oh. With a pure heart. And we are doing what is right. Oh. Definitely before we end. Oh. If that's our stand. God will say, I pour down my oh. fire on you. Oh, my God. I light my fire on you. Let's search ourselves. Mm -hmm. you just come and pray and go. This man has a cause. He had a problem. It is in me that this people. And the man God, God says you are right. I will restore you. restore your life. Oh, give back your life. 15 years. Search me, oh God. Search me, oh God. Oh, God. Oh, God. And I you I didn't know if I was a preacher, I would not be Am I walking in truth? Am I doing what is wrong? Why are things you know, this way? My purpose, I will not ask my destiny. Oh, the can we see miracles? Why life. can you see the power in of God? Why do we not see oh, the miracles of souls saving souls? Why are we? The problem may not be God, you know, because you will not be God. You will not regret you for the ministry. You will not be God. You will not regret for the ministry. You will not be God. You will not regret for the ministry. 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 Oh Lord God, I surrender my life to you, oh God. Oh God, by my pray life. In Jesus' name we pray. Oh you, God. You know, I saw the prayer point that was sent for us to pray. There are good prayer points. I want to repeat them. We pray on that. The problem is not about the prayer point. Is a prayer is me when I'm ready.
It can never be, it can never go by, it can never be faulted. It cannot. All oh, your promises, O oh God, concerning us to revive us. Oh Lord, we are asking for a spectacular revival that we shake no. the community and the nation. In the name of Jesus. The generous pretending says something. Oh, yes, it is all within your region, Lord. We pray you will send forth your spirit upon us. Lord God, that we can can be welcome to get with you. And your power will flow into our lives. And your power will flow. And your power will flow. And you will quicken us. You will quicken us. In the name of Jesus, that through us, oh God, men and women will begin to recognize you. They will begin to acknowledge you. And they will begin to bow before you. In the name of Jesus, oh Father, let your power be so that through us, men and women will be convicted. Oh God, that there will be conviction. There will be conviction. There will be conviction. In the name of Jesus, that the sick will be healed. And that your prayers will be set free. Yes, it will right now, right now, Lord. Oh, that I mean, that I mean, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Thank you because this is what your power is meant for. Your power is meant to Your power is meant to revive Your power is meant to revive Your power is meant to revive Let there be revival right now. Let there be revival. Oh Lord, inside us, let there be revival. Let there be revival within. Let there be revival within. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Everything that is weak in us be renewed, be replaced. Oh, let all the weakness be replaced right now. All the weakness be replaced. The fire of God is on us. The weakness be replaced in the name of Jesus. The weakness be replaced in the name of Jesus. No. We ever see oh, this man. The 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 no. no. There is a potential that we can be by the man of God. Look up with authority to convert you. And we call the pastor in that. Go to the pastor. Let us go again.
every person. Whatever is your responsibility, and the Spirit of God will guide. Oh, no. About that. The Spirit of God will guide and will lead. The Spirit of God will guide and will lead that. Great God of heaven. What a prayer for the courage. That the Lord will bring Yes, the song of the pressure will bring revival. Even the song of the single Lord will bring Oh, yes. Songs and music. No, People hear the song. And they cry out. And they wear out. The song brings conviction. Oh, yes, the cry of God came down. The shut of God came down. It talks Holy like Ghost came down. Oh, yeah. The fire so upon the fire no. upon the ministers of God. The song will break the foundation. The fire they will sing of the Lord. The In the name of Jesus Christ. When the song comes. Oh Lord God of the earth. So now they say. The Jesus, of Jesus, of Jesus the name of God. The protection of wickedness. On changing God. We do it out of you to reign. In the name of Jesus. I don't care. You Lord to reign. The we plead with you, Lord, to reign in this program, that you will show forth your power in our midst. You want oh, to come out the reign with the blood of Christ. In the you name of Jesus, reign. In the name of Jesus, reign. In the name of Jesus, reign. When the devil went to the name of Jesus, that every every life be touched, every life be revived, every life be renewed, so that we can offer a revival to God. He surely was hedged around. Put a prayer that God would hedge around the church, the vehicle, everything. The power of God, the spirit of God, the angel of God will surround every area. Pray. That the angels of God, the power of God will surround every area. No weakness. No. The will be able to penetrate into the arena. In the name of Jesus. I'm not hearing people pray. Unmute your phone and pray. No. You see, we have nine minutes to pray. Mm -hmm. We're committing the venue into God's hand. The God will cover every area where the people are found, where children are staying, where the young people. Must stay where the adults are staying, where the prices stay everywhere. And the power of the and the fire must go. Let it rise up. We are able to see the power of the children in the name of Jesus. Let it rise up. 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 I pray now, committing the program into your hands, the ministers, we have that will be participant. I pray the name of Jesus. We have diverse needs. We have diverse needs. Now the God who shall not fail, 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 now Ah, God help us. What do you have to do with us? In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Just like the pastor preached a few minutes ago, the dead woman needs life. Now let's go down to here. Many of us know what is called candle. The candle is just a wax. But it needs fire on top of it. And that's why the program is so. Don't you need the fire when you can't pray? When you don't need the fire, when there is a lot of things are happening, medicine cannot solve a lot of problems. But God can, because in him, nothing shall be impossible.
Yeah. So there are a lot of things medicine cannot do. Oh, blind, oh, drink for having deep yeah. diet diseases, yeah. many diseases. Yeah. People have a, I belong to this association yeah. of diabetes, yeah. of yeah. Yeah. but it yeah. belongs to one group or the other. They meet the fire release. They come. You can teach. And what else? Jesus Christ. That's why they were children, and you were children, and you were and and everybody, and it becomes so cold. But then there is no excitement, there is no energy, there is no strength, there is no ocean, there is no, uh, uh, there is no uh, uh, energy in, uh, in us. For the invasion, Father, you ignite us one more time. Father, we are praying for ignition, Father, you ignite us one more time. In the name of Jesus, Father, we come back to our stand for the name of Jesus. It's about you and I, brother and sister. Because God is looking for people to use. It's not about talking. It's not about doing it. It's about seeing things happen. You know, when you go back to Isaiah chapter 10, I will show you that Father is not going to be able to do it. I call it Isaiah chapter 10. 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 I call it Isaiah Lord, the brightness of Hezekiah was evident based. It's a food. Somebody to die now. Yeah. The one before you in truth. The one before you through the perfect life. Yeah. 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 But be filled with the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. The Holy Spirit fills us because we have few hearts to come. The Holy Spirit fills us because we do what is right. The Holy Spirit fills us because we walk in truth. Great and mighty things will happen. Jesus said, oh Lord, this morning, we are the king of the glory of God. The king of the power of God. In every ramification, miracles of our miracles, which will be here. Before I came up here, I was talking with a sister who has a problem that his problem was not caused by anything. Definitely, if you look at the situation, it will continue to depend on medicine. Throughout. When the Bible says, all those things which be not as though they were, it's the plan for God to ignite on the flame on us so that we too can call those things which be not. And bring the power of God down in our generation. The power of God down in our generation. The power of God down in our generation. First, we come to a church that has been set apart for the prayer. You you don't have to tell me you are in your house. You don't pray because you don't live in a place where you can disturb others. We come to a church with a fire. In the book of Acts, when the brethren met together to pray, comes on the authority of God. And they were feeling the day. But then you don't mind this day. It depends on the state of mind, what you are looking for. This man looking for life. I said, God, look at me. Why do you say I should come now? Why do you say I should come now? I fellowship and worship you in truth. Can you say I worship God in truth? Search me, oh Lord, mm-hmm. and all other things will, will take shape. You want to pray that. God, watch us. When God touches us, oh Lord, and remove those things, the fire, like the pastor mentioned, can be king today. It's not about God, it's about you and me. Telling God, this is where I am. And God said, yes, I've seen it. I, I let down the glory. As God told, Jesus told his disciples, wait. And wait for me. The power will come. 
Is not a simple thing for us. The church, charismatic church, no. it is a church, evangelistic church, now a church that a lot of things happen. Is that me? I want to say, part of me. What happened to our church? And manifest yourself in our midst. Yes. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, we pray. That the Spirit of God will come upon us. That the anointing will come upon us. That's what it is. That's what it is. The disciples were cowards before, but Jesus died, buried. They all ran away. We know the story. And when Jesus came back again, and now Jesus is about to leave, he told them, you don't have what it takes to do what I want you to do. What did he want them to do? Rest the dead. Heal the sick. Unless there's no dead to be raised again in our days. Or there's no sickness to be healed. Or there's no devil to be cast out. Why the problem is, and the Bible says they waited in one accord. The last prayer point I want us to, as we wait, we wait in one accord. Let me tell you something in the next few seconds. One accord, these people didn't have anything to think. Jesus had just told them to come and wait in one accord in Acts chapter 2. They didn't have business to run. They didn't think of anything. Many of us, we come to wait for the Holy Spirit to come. One is thinking about business, one is thinking about health, one is thinking about anything. In that thing, cannot be one accord. But they agreed together, they waited for oh, what they expected that. What is Christ going to send? But the Holy Spirit looked like everyone was in one accord, that we will be in one accord, expecting one thing. And when it comes, the whole flesh will be on fire. My grandfather, we thank you tonight as we come to pray. And we need only one thing. And we live for you in pure heart, with a pure heart, and doing, being truthful in our life, ourself, and doing what is right. I know that you will bless us. Bless yeah. us at this program come. Yeah. Thank you because you know your answer. Yeah. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 We thank God for how he has helped us today. Thank God for the exhortation today and the prayers. And the challenge and encouragement is that the prayer should continue. Our prayer should keep going. And till the very day of the program, we should keep praying. As we pray, the Lord will show up and he will show up strong among us in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Planning for a program coming Amen. up on the 17th. But brethren, that revival can start even tonight. It can start tonight. And so... The Lord don't have to wait till the 17th to visit us. Thank you. As, as we, the we, are, of God, as we pray, the Lord will visit us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The next few minutes, we just want to encourage us and challenge us on the need to publicize for this program. Um, a very challenging example is the three lepers. You know, when they came upon good fortune among the enemies of Israel, we see some challenges they had. They were lepers. They were not supposed to come close to um, the Jews. But this man knew that they came upon something good. They said, we can't keep this to ourselves. <laughs> and brethren, three lepers, people that are... Uh, uh, are termed unclean that people shouldn't come close became you know the emissaries of God's deliverance in the land you know of Israel at a very critical time how much more you and I brethren the Lord can use us if we can make ourselves you know available make ourselves available at God's disposal something great is about to happen brethren something great is about to happen and let's not keep it to ourselves you want to spread the news, you want to spread the word, and the Lord will find you faithful in Jesus' name. Our publicity uh, strategy amen. is by any means and by all means. By <laughs> any means and by all means. You know, any means can just be, you know, 
singular efforts and then by all means all possible <coughs> means all possible you know if we can let open our minds the lord can give us strategies the spirit of god can drop strategies you know you can use for this effort but we can give us some of them you know i was just thinking about this and i was thinking about those that do fishing you know those that do fishing um some people use lines fishing line they put a hook and the target is just one fish some others will use a net you know use a net like um peter and andrew and james and john they will use nets some others will use trawlers big mechanical boats that will catch a large number of fishes so brethren by any means by all means by any means by all means any means can be you know talking to your 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 friend word of mouth your colleague at work you've established a relationship with them you've established you know a good rapport with them and they trust you and they look up to you this is a good time for you to tell them come god is about to do something you know it could be dodgy you know by god's grace we should have good weather tomorrow and sunday you know, target your community, get some of these flyers, you know, go door to door. Nobody will send their dogs at you. Just go door to door, just drop at the doorstep so you can knock on doors and hand people flyers. Um, nothing stops every one of us on the line tonight to share nothing less than 10 flyers this weekend. Target your community and the Lord will help you. You know, we have Amen. media platforms social media platforms your whatsapp status you have instagram use instagram you have you have facebook we have a flyers if you don't have the flyer reach out to your pastor they can send a digital flyer to you upload it to your facebook and then we have facebook ads now if your location church has a facebook page um and you don't know how to do facebook ads please do well to contact me we'll schedule a time we can put up this the video on your Facebook page. You can pay between sixty to hundred dollars and have it run, and it can reach, you know, up to like five thousand people, you know, ten thousand people even within a specified um, radius of your zip code. And so we can take advantage of all these platforms to publicize this event, brethren. There's a sound of revival in the air. Hallelujah. It's the sound of revival and let's bring all, let's bring everyone and let's be there and the Lord will bless us. Congregational publicity. Um, I want to believe our pastors are also planning this Sunday to have some time to go out. Last week in my location, God helped us. It was raining and afterwards the rain stopped. So we went out and this Sunday again, we are going out. And so let's adjust our services on Sunday spend some time to pray and then go out with those flyers. No flyer should be left with us by Friday or Saturday morning before this program. And so make adequate plans this Sunday. Let's go out for congregational publicity. I mean, some of us who have backgrounds from Nigeria or Ghana or Togo, Cameroon, wherever we're coming from and how we do publicity. You know, let's, let's bring those things and the Lord will help us. And then prayers are very important. Our leaders have been scheduling these times for prayers. Locations, we have our prayer schedule. Let's try to, you know, make those things happen. Personal prayers as well. You know, there is there is there is natural activity and there's a supernatural activity. Natural activity is when we go out, when we use our word of mouth. But the supernatural activity is activated by prayers. You know, in the place of prayer, we can activate and we can yeah. deploy angels. The Bible called them ministering spirits. We can deploy angels that will support our publicity efforts. And just a flyer can bring a whole family, extended family, and bring them and they get saved. I pray the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. And before Amen. I come and hand over to our leaders, you know, what should drive our publicity number one should be passion should be passion you know the story that comes to mind is in john chapter four the woman at the well the samarian at the well this woman just met jesus but the few minutes she spent with jesus 
as you came to believe so much in what Jesus was saying, and she became passionate. She couldn't hold herself. She ran to the city, and the whole city came to meet Jesus. And by the grace of God, some of us who've known Jesus for more than five minutes, for more than 10 minutes, and there should be reason why we should be so passionate. You know, revival happens when we create a platform for people to meet Jesus. Revival is not just an event. We create that platform. We draw people to come and meet Jesus. And Jesus, they, they come into the same space where Jesus is, is operating. And transformation happens in their lives. And so, brethren, um, we, we personally need to be passionate. You know, be passionate about the 17th and the 18th. That's where it starts from. And then that passion will drive you out. And then that's another thing that should drive us is prayers. You know, prayer is one of the ways we can, we can, we can, we can derive that passion. In the place of prayer, will thou not revive us, O Lord? As you turn in the place of prayer, that passion is whipped up, and then there's resistance. Resistance. You may go out there. Somebody will tell you, "I'm okay." Last Sunday, we we're sharing, you know, our flyers, and some people come and say, "I'm not interested." But you know, persistence will make you. The next person, you know, following that. You know, the individual that says, you no, know, could be the target. You know, for all eternity, God is trying to reach out. To, and so persistence is important. Somebody will say, no, go to the next person. This door will say, leave my door, go to the next door. And as we do this, the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. And before I hand over to our leaders, can we just have two minutes of prayers? I want us to pray for our publicity efforts. We want to pray and tell the Lord some, some of our locations to be going out this Sunday. Let's pray and tell the, tell the Lord that God will, 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 will go with us. God will go with us. God will go with us. God will go with us. Oh Lord, the name of Jesus, God will go with us. We want to sound the trumpet. They will sound the trumpet and the people will respond. We will sound the trumpet and the people will respond. So that the angels will back us up in the name of Jesus. That the Holy Ghost himself, the Holy Ghost, Oh, the Holy Ghost Himself will walk with us. In the name of every social media effort, the Lord will breathe upon it. The Lord will breathe upon it. In the name of Jesus, the Spirit of God, the Spirit of God Himself will breathe upon our efforts. In the name of Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. All our flyers, let's begin to breathe upon them. All our flyers, all our flyers, all our flyers will be instruments, instruments, instruments in the hand of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our Father, we are so grateful to you for finding us worthy to be a mystery, even at this time. A mysteries mm. of revival, a mysteries of what you want to do in the DMV. And so, Aye. Lord, we pray, oh God, in our various individual efforts, in our congregational efforts, Lord, I pray you will breathe life upon them in Jesus' name. Aye. That as we pray these prayers, oh God, through word of mouth, Peter stood, and in one day, thousands came to know the Lord. But I pray even as we use our word of mouth, as we use various media, breathe upon them, O oh God, and you will Amen. cause the people to come in their droves, and Amen. Jesus will be glorified. We give you thanks, we give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is faithful. God is helping us. We can see his hand. We can see the evidence that the revival is really knocking, knocking on the door. But it has actually started. It oh, yeah. has started with us already. It has started yeah. with us. We're the touch bearers. And we're trusting God that it will spread through the city. It will spread through our communities. It will spread through our neighborhoods in Jesus' name. 
Amen. I want to encourage every one of us not to be tired of well doing. Mm -hmm. uh, this is our time. This is our moment. Oh yes. Uh, we thank God. In fact, the outreach, we can see evidences of the outreach. Uh, mm -hmm. We're getting calls. We're people are asking about it. In fact, even before the revival, they are even people. It's like uh, their eyes are. The light has shine has, has shown in in the darkness mm -hmm. through the flyers, and their eyes are open. Uh, got a call uh, from Alexandra. So I said, "Does the church exist here? Is there a church in Alexandria? Is there?" Mm -hmm. And certainly, there's a church in Alexandria. Um, uh, in the same place. I I need to get the pastor's number. I want to be part of the church. So even before the revival, I just I just for you to know that. God is already walking. God is already walking. You know, when, when God wants to demolish adversaries, you know, when he wants to demolish the powers of darkness, the prince of Pesha, the territorial spirits that, that hold neighborhoods down. And, uh, you know, those uh, people who are like slaves to Satan, who hate their chains, they, they run out, they come out, they respond so that... When that the angel of judgment goes round, you know, they will be spared. And we're trusting God that as many as are longing for salvation, they will come out from the camp of the enemy. Man. Or from darkness. They will come over to the side of the Lord in Jesus' name. Man. And those who love darkness, witchcraft, or cultism, we pray that the Lord will have mercy on them. We Amen. pray that the fire of the Lord will smoke them out. They will Amen. give up all the enchantments, all the sorcery, all the satanic uh, activities. Will give, will, they will give them up in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's make use of this weekend. Now, when we come to the various areas of work, certainly we need volunteers to assist in various areas. I'm sure your pastors have reached out to you. You are here. You say, I'm not a worker. You don't have to be a worker. If you can volunteer, you're born again and you can volunteer. Uh, you can endure hardness uh, for Christ. You can volunteer. Now, whether it's for welfare, uh, kitchen, feeding, security, sanitation, uh, perhaps it could be uh, ushering, a protocol, or transportation. You can volunteer one way or the other during these two days' event. Please reach out to your pastor. We are looking for volunteers for various aspects of the, of the work. Reach out to your pastor and give your name to them, your contact uh, information. They will definitely, they will get the that information across to us. We always lack people in the area of sanitation. It's an area that nobody, people don't like to go to. But if you have a special calling for that area, we're looking for people who will serve like potters in the house of the Lord. Please reach out to your pastor and provide your name so that we can forward that and have you contacted later on. And we're trusting that uh, all of us, all together, we will get this job, we will get the work done in Jesus' name. Amen. At the end of this, we will all testify. I want you to understand it's not just, this is not a DC thing. And the other thing is this, by the grace of God, it's the train of revival that is moving. You never mm -hmm. know. We are done with the revival hosted in DC. Maybe the train will move to Baltimore. After Baltimore, maybe the train is moving <laughs> to Virginia. After Virginia, maybe it's moving to Clinton or moving to Bowie, moving to. And we're trusting God that this season, this season, no part of the DMV will escape the touch of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So let's put in all our energy. Let's put in all our effort. Even if nobody's calling you, be calling your pastor. Pastor, what is next? Pastor, what is next? Um, I need more flyers. I, I and you know the best form of uh, uh of outreach or the best form of publicity is the one on one one on one publicity, and uh, you want to get the commitment of people get their names, pray about their names, follow up with them, remind them as even the day draws nearer. Don't just give the flyer and then you back up, but keep following up, 
everywhere and every moment. The Lord bless us. We've come to the end of the service today. And uh, I know normally we don't ask if there are questions, but uh, does anybody have any question before we close? Uh, share the grace in the, for the Is there any question from anybody? Please, uh, you can unmute, you can ask your questions and we will try to answer them. Any question from anybody from the house? Okay. That means there's no, no questions. At this point, we're going to share the grace and fellowship. The grace, everybody. Yeah, the grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. The love of God. The love of God. The love of God. The love of The love of God. All the days of your life, we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Good night and God bless you. Good night. Good night. Amen. Let's get my Finished.